Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. This is our 12th video on Laravel e-commerce project. And in this video, we will learn that how we can add product data in a card table. So before just going to start with the points, so let's understand why we need to add the data inside a card table. So in the previous video, we just migrated a card table. And in this table, we have a structure for the three IDs, one for the table itself, the another one is the product and user id so whenever a user just want to buy a product what it will do it will just add to cart product right and we we will just save this data in our cart table why because might be for a moment user just want to add to cart this product and after two days or three days right or might be from the another pc user will buy this product right for that we need to just keep the data in the database the respectively specific user so let's say uh, peter want to buy a sony tv then we will just take the id of the peter as well as our product id and when we need the detail of these we can just use the joins with the product table and the user table that's simple right so i hope you just get that why we just need to save the data inside a card table so now let's understand the points of this video first of all we will create a small form to add to cart product right then uh, we will get the username from the session after login right and uh, we need to just make a router as well as a model model that will just uh, interact with this cart table and uh, after that we will check that if user is logged in then we can save the data inside the cart table otherwise we will log out this user sorry we will redirect this user to the login page then user can log in and after that he can just add the products right so now let's get started first of all let's uh, just go to the resource views and then detail.blade.php here you can see that we have a add to cart page so let's uh, cut this line for a moment and uh, add a my bad add a form here right so in this form we can just put this button and also we need some input boxes and uh, let's say this name of this input box is a uh, product underscore id and then we can put here a name and uh, okay so name is already done so let's put a value right so value value will be the id of uh, this product that we want want to buy so just copy the data from here and put here id right so now you will find that here we have current product id right so let's say we have some other product for example we have a lg mobile in that case we have id 1 because this is the id 1 right so but we don't want to show this box so that we can just do we can make it hidden right so just add here a hidden field as well as we need a csrf token right and uh, if you just want to check that what we actually have in this form so that you can inspect the element and you will find the two hidden and one button here right and uh, on this button what url we want to call so let's say we just want to go on add to cart right so and let's define a method name also so just put here post our form is ready now let's uh, go to our product uh, you can see that uh, product uh, controller here and uh, let's create another function so let's say my function name is add to cart right and for a moment let's uh, just simply return here hello right and we will just get the data from the form that's why we need a variable and this variable will be get the data from http request and this is imported from here right we used all this request whenever we need the data from the form right so everything is fine we will change this hello but first of all let's uh, uh, check out that routing and everything is working fine or not 
and let's uh, just go to the you can say web.php to creating the routes and uh, just create a one more route here and it will be the post type because we will just send or call it from here right and this is our post type and uh, now let's define a route and the function which is add to cart right so that's fine now let's see how is it actually working i'm just going to click on add to cart and this is working fine first thing is now we will check that if user is logging then he can just go on this page otherwise he will redirect to to the login page and how we can check it just simply put here if dollar request session it have a function has and our session name is user if uh, it have the session then we can print hello right else we can redirect it so just return redirect and put here a login because we just want to go on login page that's fine and here you can see that again we will check because the session is created here that's why he will just jump on okay uh, let me check what's wrong with it yeah actually session is not created yet so whenever we will just click on the add to cart it will just take first time on the uh, login page so now let's uh, add a user and just simply put here one two three four five and make login now we are logged in let's say now we want to buy uh, oppo mobile then we are here so now again whenever after login i will just click on add to cart now i have a hello here because session is maintained and now we will write here to add the car, add the data inside the cart table and what we need here for that we need a cart table model so just write here php artisan make model and our model name is cart hit enter this is created successfully where it is created inside the model cart right so as you know if our model name is cart our uh, because this is a singular our table name should be plural but in our case the both are singular so what we can do we can just put here public dollar table and we can put our table name which is cart and now it can work fine again let's import inside our uh, uh, product controller so just write here cart and now inside this block we can just remove this code and just put here dollar cart equal to new cart right and dollar cart uh, have some we want to save some data like a user underscore id so how we can just get this data from the session for that we just uh, we can copy this and paste it here and now let's replace has with the get and at the last let's put here id that's fine and after that with a similar case we can just write here we don't need this one in a request id we have a product underscore id as you know we are just sending it from uh, here right and uh, just return here product id because we just want to say product id inside our database table and the column name is again product id so this is our cart and use a save method so everything is fine so if our data is saved then we can redirect it and on what where we can redirect whatever you want you can redirect but i will just redirect on the home and uh, again so let's go back here and let's try to buy this product right so whenever now you can see that inside our cart table if you want to check we don't have any data so i will click on add to cart and now after just adding this cart we are on a home page and if you want to check here then you can check we got a one data here so again 
if you want to buy some more products let's say you just want to buy a fridge add to cart and here you can see that we got the two data so user id is one same product id is two and five so in the next video what we will do on the click on uh, this cart uh, number now there's zero because this is not dynamic and this is not coming from the database in the next video it will coming from the database and whenever you will click on the art add to cart the data will be added here also right and uh, again uh, after clicking on this cart we need to show the all items which is added in the cart so we will just show a cart list also so this is all about that how we can save the data and how this is beneficial to us in the next video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and uh, thanks for watching this video and bye bye god bless you